okay so in this lecture we are going to discuss about uh, factorizations of polynomials so we will now first write down some one important theorem which is called as division algorithm what is division algorithm so i am given i am the set fx where i will consider f to be a field okay i am taking a division algorithm for fx where f is a field so i will take a polynomial px and qx in fx and uh, qx should not be equal to zero okay then i will divide the polynomial px by qx and i will get the coefficient polynomial as uh, say mx and let me write the coefficient the remainder be rx so this will mean that px can be written as dividend is equal to divisor which is qx into quotient which is mx plus the remainder which is rx where what do you know about the degree of the remainder the degree of the remainder can be zero it means it can be constant polynomial or zero polynomial we will not define the degree okay and which is strictly less than the uh, degree of qx okay it should be less than the degree of the divisor okay so this is the division algorithm this you have to already done in your first year classes the second important theorem that we know is called as factor theorem factor theorem is also a part of your first year course so if you have uh, an element a in the field f okay then we say that a is a root a is a root of that polynomial if and only if x minus a is a factor of that polynomial okay this is what you have been using a factor theorem since long time so now with this we will now define what is called as irreducible polynomial irreducible polynomial now the word itself suggests what is the meaning of a irreducible polynomial suppose i have a polynomial i'm working uh, suppose i'm taking a polynomial is x square plus 5x plus 6 okay this is a polynomial in rx what are the coefficients the coefficients are real numbers can i write it as product of two polynomials which have smaller degrees this is a polynomial of degree 2 and can i write a polynomial as multiplication of two polynomials with degree less than two i can write it as x plus two into x plus three means i could reduce this polynomial into smaller polynomials but suppose i write it as x square plus one okay then can i write can i factorize x square plus one as product of two polynomials uh, then you uh, then the the answer to this question will be no why because uh, one can say that what if i write x plus i into x minus i x plus i into x minus i will come up to be how much will come up to be x square plus one but this is not correct because in which which space are you working you're working in rx these this x plus i and x minus i are polynomials in what they're polynomials in cx okay so this means that x square plus one if i consider the polynomial x square plus one then x square plus one in rx this polynomial cannot be reduced means i'm going to say it irreducible okay but if i consider the same polynomial instead of rx if i consider the same polynomial in cx means the coefficients are complex are the coefficients complex yes one is a complex number and the one is also a complex number so this is a polynomial now i'm looking at it as a polynomial of with complex coefficients okay is it reducible or irreducible then you will say you can write x, plus, x square plus one as x plus i into x minus i and both these factors are elements of what they're elements of 
cx so this polynomial becomes what reducible in cx so now i hope the definition of reducible uh, irreducible polynomial is clear to you okay so i will say a polynomial is irreducible if it is not reducible okay this is how we will define irreducible polynomial so this means that i should now tell you what is the definition of reducible polynomial so when will i say a polynomial px is reducible if i can write px as product of two polynomials fx and gx okay where what should be the speciality of fx and gx if px belongs to the space fx right then suppose if px belongs to fx then fx and gx they should also belong to the same space fx not only that degree of f and degree of g should be both strictly less than degree of the given original polynomial okay so if this polynomial is of degree 2 then what must be fx and gx fx and gx must be of uh, degree less than the degree of the polynomial p okay so let me take one example now consider the polynomial fx equal to x square minus 2 in qx now is this polynomial a reducible polynomial or irreducible polynomial so, so if i look at x square minus 2 i can write it as x square minus root 2 square which can be written as x plus root 2 into x minus root 2 but this polynomial does not belong to qx because they are not rational coefficients right so this means that x square minus 2 cannot be written as x plus 2 into x minus root 2 uh, in which space in the space in the polynomial ring qx so this means that we do not get such a factorization this factorization is not valid and and therefore what will happen therefore this will mean that x square minus 2 is what is thought to be an irreducible polynomial in qx right so now uh, we must now find a small criteria that when will a polynomial become irreducible or reducible uh, as soon as i see the polynomial i should be able to do some simple calculations and conclude so because of that we will now write one important theorem which will say that suppose if you take a polynomial and that polynomial is in fx what is f f is a field all of you know what are fields i am very sure real numbers complex numbers co rational numbers and z piece okay so if you are working in a field and suppose degree of the polynomial is equal to 2 or 3 okay and i am talking about which polynomials i am only talking about polynomials which are of degree 2 and 3 and this theorem is so important it tells you that p is p is reducible if and only if p has a root in f okay now now you will understand that if you take that example which i have discussed above what was that example x square minus 2 which was in qx okay now this theorem will tell you something very important you just find out the, see it is a polynomial of degree 2 so i can apply this theorem so x minus 2 x square minus 2 equal to 0 so this is a polynomial of degree 2 and what are the roots of this polynomial if i try to find the roots of this polynomial x square minus 2 is equal to 0 will give me what x is equal to plus or minus root 2 okay so this is a root right does it belong to q this theorem ask you asks you a question p has a root in f who is f now my f, the field f is q does root 2 belong to q or minus root 2 belong to q the answer to this question is no 
this means that p has no root in f and therefore p is not reducible therefore p is not reducible means that p is irreducible in q so this theorem will actually help us so whenever you're given a polynomial of degree two or three what you have to do is you have to only check whether the roots are in f if the roots are in f then it will become reducible at least one root even if you get one root still this theorem applies okay if the if it has no root in f then the conclusion will be that the polynomial is not a reducible polynomial now let me take an example again so let me take the polynomial x square plus one in z phi x let me take this okay let us check what is going to happen so is this polynomial reducible or irreducible this is my question so what i will do is i will take this polynomial x square plus px is x square plus one and uh, what i know is z5 contains what it contains zero bar one bar up to four bar okay if i put p of one bar uh, this is a polynomial of degree two right z5 is a field so i can apply the previous theorem right so what is p of one bar it is one bar square plus one bar which is two bar which is not zero bar means it's not a root p of two bar is what two bar square plus one bar which is four bar plus one bar which is five bar and this is zero bar so this means that two bar is a the root of the polynomial px in the space in the space z5x and therefore you got a root okay and two bar is a root which is in z5 and therefore by the theorem i can now declare that the polynomial px is reducible okay because the theorem was saying what the theorem was saying that if you find a root if you have a root then the polynomial will become what the polynomial will become reducible